And welcome back to another delicious episode of Shelly's Homemade. And today, guys, we're going to be making some beef and asparagus. I don't know, you're probably thinking, like, I never heard of beef and asparagus. Well, you heard of beef and broccoli. Oh, well, how about beef and asparagus? So, for this, you're just going to need asparagus, onions, some seasoning, and this beef. Now, I have a chuck roast here. This is two pound chuck roast. And what we're going to do, we're going to cut it on an angle, and that is just, and we're going to get some thin strips. And I'm cutting it kind of frozen, not all the way through it, because it's going to be easier to cut and get through. And see, it has like those small, like, red lines right here, it's not like, so it's shorter instead of long. So we're cutting across so we can get a shorter version. And it's thin. So when it cook up, it's gonna be it's gonna be tender. And that's why we're cutting it frozen, so we can get some thin cuts. And this recipe is enough to feed six people. And it depends on how they eat, you know, between six and eight, could be four, I mean between four and eight people, you know, it depends on how your family eat. Alright. Now you can add carrots to this if you like. You can add celery, some bell peppers, but we're just adding onion. It's a, a simple dish. If you like asparagus, then this is the dish for you. Like you don't want to. You don't want to miss out. You want you want this dish. If you like asparagus. Now if you don't, you could do the same thing with some broccoli. Or some broccolini. Which is asparagus mixed with um, broccoli. And you could just, you know, do that. So, I'm just going to put this on my plate. And when I say thin, I mean like, like this. It's a thin slice. It's a good thin slice. Kind of frozen. Make it easier to cut through this roast. To cut thinly through the roast. That's what you want. See where it's like completely thawed at? The, the slices are going to be thicker. When it's frozen, you can get thinner slices. Hmm. I'm cutting this beef. Um, tell you how I thought of this recipe. So I had some beef. In the freezer, and I was trying to figure out what to do with it. And I was like, I do not, not want like some roast beef today. I mean, I love it. It's my favorite thing, you know, and I believe one of my best recipes, to be honest with you. So I was like, I don't want that. What do I want? I have some asparagus I need to cook up. You know, maybe if I chop them up, put them together. That's like, hmm. How that would be. And I did that. And it was fantastic. And this is a simple dish. 
doesn't require a whole lot of seasoning, a whole lot of ingredients. The only thing that takes the longest is cutting this beef. This is cutting the beef. It's the longest thing. Alright, hold on. We don't want that. We don't want that either. So I have my asparagus here. What I'm gonna do is chop off the bad end of the asparagus. Just like so. And we are this garden. Discard the bed ends. Like so. Now put them together. Just like so. And to set the threes, and we're going to get them into a bowl. And guys, if you guys are looking for different dishes you haven't heard of before, I have a playlist called Shelly's Creations. Go check that playlist out, guys. And while you're there, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe on this video. Let me know how I did in the comment section. Right? So you get your asparagus all cut up. The last thing we need to cut up is a beautiful onion. And you're going to see how fast and easy this dish is. And the, the hard part. It's almost done where we're just cutting up we're just slicing our veggies and Ooh. okay this onion was growing another onion I guess you can say this onion was pregnant pregnant And you were pregnant. It. So we're just gonna slice them just like you're gonna give it a rough slice like that. Cut them into threes like that. That's how big you want these onions. A good old rough chop. And that's it. When we come back, we're going to start sauteing that meat. Okay, guys. So, we're back. I have my pan here. Getting nice and hot. So, while that's doing that, I have some seasoning here for you. I have salt, onion powder, black pepper, season oil, and garlic powder. So, we're going to do is just mix all of these together. I got a, a fork here. And I'm just mixing them all together. Get a little good blend. And that's all you need. I mean, you can put some fresh garlic in here if you like. But like I said, this is a quick meal with a few simple seasonings to it. I have some avocado oil. You can use whatever oil you like. I prefer a high smoke point for this. And I add my avocado oil. Just coating the bottom. Nothing serious. 
We're not trying to deep fry, we just want to coat the bottom. Alright. So you're just going to lay them in there. It has a, a sizzle, not the beautiful sizzle I was looking for. So we're just going to lay these in here. Try not to crowd the pan too much. Let's get them in there. And we only need to season one side because these are really thin. Just like so. And you take some seasoning and just season it up. I mean, it's not that much salt, so you can you can be gentle or or as heavy as you like. You know, beef and salt go hand to hand, and that's what we want. You get it all beefed out. So when it's time to flip these, we're going to come back we want these to get a nice, good sear. And when they get a nice, good sear, we're going to come back. Time to take out our last bit of beef. Get some onions and the pan. And that onion is going to take up all the goodness up the bottom of the pan from the beef. I don't want to scratch my pan up, so I'm going to grab my spatula. Grab my spatula. And just let the onion pick up all the goodness out the bottom of the pan. Just like so. And we'll hit it with that seasoning mixture we made earlier. And we're going to season at every level. Just like that. That is beautiful. You add those asparagus straight to the pan. Straight to the pan. And that's going to pick up everything. Look at that. Just like this. Now let's season it up. Just like so. Don't be shy. Get it all in there. Alright, so we're going to let this cook for a few. And then when I come back, I'm going to show you the next step. Alright guys, so if you've been watching my videos, you already know how I make gravy. You know, I put the flour, uh, seasoning, and then I add um, some chicken bouquet. And we're just going to add that right in here. And that's it. And we're picking up all the stuff from the bottom. And we're going to add the beef back. We're just going to let this cook just a little while. You know, the gravy get formed. Asparagus. We still want to have some bite to it so it's not going to be cooked that long so it's just until the gravy and the beef heat up in here and it's already starting to do that as we speak oh it's going to be so lovely 
and I have rice. We're going to put this over some rice. And guess what, guys? I was cooking my rice while, you know, while we were cooking the beef. So our rice and everything will be done at the same time. So doing this, it's a 35 minute meal. Does not take long at all. Absolutely amazing. come back I'm gonna plate this up for you guys and we're gonna char down on this delicious okay thing. so we got that beef that asparagus oh it smells so good we got the rice on the bottom that gravy look at this look at that that asparagus mmm mmm and a bite to it Rice. Mmm, hot. Mmm, that gravy is good. Mmm. Got that beef. Look at that beef. That beef, guys. Look at that beef! Mmm. Oh, yeah. Let's get it all together. Rice. And some of this beef. All of that together. Got blood. Hot. Mmm. with a meal like this all right guys y'all want to try something new try this out don't forget to like share and subscribe and as always guys have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next video mm -hmm.